started our tree farming in uh, 1943. Dad saw a piece of property that uh, looked like uh, it was uh, suitable for tree farming. It certainly wasn't suitable for uh, agricultural row crop type farming. And uh, we bought the farm, it cost $7 and a half an acre. Well, that doesn't sound like much today, but uh, in those days, uh, that was what uh, that type of land was selling for. There are three things that one has to have to have a tree farm. They must have a piece of land. They must have professional advice. They must have expertise. And they must have a management plan. Those are three, in my opinion, those are the three most important aspects to tree farming. This happens to be my tree farm management plan. We've been using it for 42 years now. And it's very important to have a plan. Know where you're going, know what to expect in the future, and to have a plan and, and know what you're doing today. Our particular plan is, uh, uh, is uh, on a 10-year basis. This doesn't mean that we have to stick with 10 years, but it gives us a guide and shows us where we need to progress over the years. Tree farming is not an overnight thing. It takes patience. It takes a, a long-range program, a long-range study program. In our particular instance, uh, Dad and I both started the basic program. Dad's been gone uh, for uh, 19 years now, but uh, Dad was pleased with what he had seen done. He had seen the fields reforested. Uh, he had seen uh, the growth uh, in uh, the hardwoods that were planted. and. Uh, now, then I took over, or have worked with him uh, all these years, and uh, I've uh, worked with the farm, and uh, we're looking forward to our daughter, Becky, taking my place when the time comes and perpetuating uh, the uh, tree farm program. So we've, we're working on three generations right now. Uh, I subscribe to the philosophy that uh, man should leave the land better than he originally found it. And I think we've tried to accomplish that. Uh, we've seen that we've got good merchantable timber now, uh, good species, desirable species that'll sell. Uh, we've uh, provided wildlife habitat and protection. We've uh, practiced good, sound conservation management uh, to a renewable resource that uh, is valuable, one that has recreational values and aesthetic values. And uh, I think we can count our blessings and uh, hopefully uh, everything being equal, uh, the land will continue to produce and uh, we'll be have a, a very nice piece of ground uh, to be thankful for in the future. Well, you know, Dad, I've seen what you and Grandpa have done out at the farm, and I think I've kind of been a part of it. And I've kind of grown up with the tree farm and the whole program. And I think it really had a big influence on my life and I think even on my career. You know, being involved with nature and conservation and the practices that we've had to deal with. And I know that I probably went into the field of biology because of some of the things that we did. And I really hope that I can carry on the practices that you and Grandpa have worked on and that it will continue to be a productive farm. I just hope I can do as good a job as you two have done. <laughs> Tree farming has been a real experience for me, being a wife, being a mother, and uh, I enjoy the tree farm itself for the beauty of it. And being a woman, I go to the tree farm with uh, Richard, and uh, I experience uh, like another world, like an enchanted place. And the closeness that we have as a family, 
means an awful lot to me, too, and I think we grow together like the trees do. And That's good, man. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just my own personal feeling about it. It's just means more to me than really I can say. Mm -hmm. 